So, the little Marxist pricks have reared their ugly head up in Scotland, Nicholson Square I believe it's called. Um, the Home Office van or Home Office staff in a van had gone there to remove illegal immigrants that well, were illegally there basically. So, you know, you're not, you're not there legally, you will be deported. So, obviously the bleeding hearts, the woke, the commies, the left, the fascists, the Marxists, the whatever you, brand them any which way you want. Brain dead stupid fucks actually was the way I would brand the bastards. But nevertheless, these morons have rocked up, a hundred plus of them, right? Now, how do you get a hundred plus people there at the drop of a hat? Well, it would be difficult, very difficult. Uh, I'm led to believe that what they've done is, or what they've said they've done is managed to rouse uh, the locals who live there to give them their support. If you believe that, fair enough. Personally, I would imagine that it was more like this. Here's the scenario. There's either a date set, and at which time that it gets reported to the, uh, the Marxist groups that want to defend immigration and promote immigration into this country, even if it's illegal, right? Um, and they get active. Or worse still, uh, scenario number two, which I'm kind of thinking happens quite a bit. Immigration, are going to go and do a perform an action. The paperwork has to go through numerous channels and it ends up under the nose of an extreme lefty within that company, business, organization, outfit, civil service, whatever, right? And what actually happens is that person fucks off on their lunch break and tips somebody else off. So somebody in one of these Marxist organizations that resist everything common sense and try to do for the end of our communities and civilized fucking society as hard as they can. They hate themselves, they hate everything about the country, they hate, and we've been through this. You know exactly how they feel about everything and they want to bring everything down around them. These people hate themselves so much that they would, literally, they would probably think about suicide except that it would probably please people and they don't like making people happy. So they're here to hang around and cause as much fucking trouble as they can all the time of their measly fucking existence carries on. And they actually think that this has given them some sort of creed and some kudos, some, some sort of status. Yes, you do have the status as the biggest fucking weapon that ever fell out of a fucking woman's vag. All right, you are, you are, literally, seriously, if they had picked up the afterbirth and sent it to school, it would have been a much better result. But there you are, you absolute fucking lettuce. You, you, you fucking weapon. One day, probably not actually with you because you're so fucking thick, the only thing you understand is absolute force, which will be at the end of your measly existence when you've probably pissed off the wrong person. That has nothing to do with us, by the way. The people we're probably trying to warn you about, but nevertheless, Right, you are paving the way for utter, utter oblivion, right? If you flood a country full of people who do not think like us, who do not like us, who are led by something else that you cannot control, you cannot control it, all right? It is driven by something much higher than you, all right? So laws cannot control them, appeasement cannot control them. The only thing in life that's ever controlled Islam and its spread was force, and that was back in the dark ages. Well, whatever ages there were, actually, they weren't dark ages. They were dark if you fucking lived in them. What did you have to put up with? Famine, disease, and all the other sorts of fucking maladies and ailments. But what you didn't have to put up with was woke lefty twats. It's kind of sounding nice now, isn't it? But whatever. No, through history, the only thing that's halted Islam in its desire to take over the entire world and make it its slave was force, all right? Now, I'm not suggesting anybody uses force at all. Wouldn't dream of it, especially not on this profile or platform, all right? However, what you're doing is you're thinking that because you're all lovey-dovey, which actually you're not, is that if you treat people nicely, they'll do the same for you. See, have you ever heard the expression live and let live? Hmm? Probably not actually knowing you, or probably depending on your quota is whenever it fucking suits you. But if you think it's ever gonna be live and let live, live and let live is always one-sided. One side decides it's going to be, I don't know, progressive or loving or or modern or I don't know nice and it's nice to the other people and the other people who aren't so nice because that's just the way of it right see us as a sign of weakness and go fuck it up we got an idiot here and you lot get fucked over every time um, that saying comes to mind uh, strong people Strong men make good times, good times make weak men, weak men make bad times, bad times make strong men strong, you get the idea. These absolute f 
fucking spasms. These, these, the, the, the spit in the corner of the fucking lips. That's what these fucking morons are, right? But these fucking weapons are in charge. Make no bones about it. They are in charge of the purse strings. They're in charge of what makes law. They're in charge of what makes policy. They're in charge of local government. They're in your police force. They're in all facets of life. And all they want to do is look more woke than the next one down the road. It's a competition. Who can come out with the most word saladed, blitheringly stupid policy that absolutely throws white people on its knees, sucking on the cock of those that want to take them over? All right, that's what it is, all right? And they think that every time they hit a fucking home goal, that they should jump up and celebrate. Fuck me up and down. These people are just mental health, mental illness on steroids. But there you go. But that's what's going on up in Scotland. I dare say it's probably going on all up and down the country. And in Ireland, Wales, probably half of fucking the English speaking world, or uh, well, the Western world even for that happens in America. The only place that that wouldn't happen is in the countries where these people have come from because they wouldn't tolerate it. Maybe that's why they came here. We're soft touches. And they see their, their life, what is it? Paved with gold. Well, credit, benefits, call it what you like. But it's a lot better than where they come from. And they can't play out where they come from because if they do, it gets come down on rather hard. But here, oof special privileges. Get away with almost anything, really. And even if you do almost anything, and you get caught, oh, well, you just don't understand. The boat trip gave him PTSD. Did it? I went out fishing the other day on a boat. Can I claim PTSD? Fucking unbelievable. Do you know I'll be making it fucking easier than what I'm doing at the moment. Do you know what? I'm working my absolute cunt off at the moment. Six days this is now. 10 hour to 12 hour days minimum, sometimes a little bit longer. From the moment you start to the moment you finish, it's graft. Pushing, pushing, pulling, shifting stuff around. It's all badly packed and badly balanced because it's been worked on by people that I'm talking about in this video, right? And all of the time, a shed load of that gets taken off me every week. Fuck off. That's the sign now. Every week I get fucking raped by tax. And where does it go? To go and fund these wankers in Sorry, hotels and all I sorts. Don't I don't give a fuck what you understand, you nosy cunt. You know, can't have a fucking conversation without a sat nav button in. Anyway, thanks for watching, liking, sharing, and subscribing. Please do share. Please do like. Don't forget to take the bell because at the end of the day, I'm losing subs as quick as I can gain them, but that's probably some algorithm doing that purposely. And I'm going to get on about my day because I probably just about have my break now, so no rest peace for the wicked. They packed this run around the wrong way as such. And the way they've done it is you've got like pallets that are over a ton of like fluids and they're right on the back of the uh, the trailer and you, your stuff that you need is right in front and you've got to try and get them off via a tail lift. Well if any of you know pump trucks and a one ton pallet, it's coming off the tail lift but it's never going back on the fucker. So I literally had to do half at the first place, then go to the next place, tip that their bit, move it all around, get the other bit out of theirs, they move it all back in, now I've got to go back to the first place on my sixth day. Frustrating. Still, that's work for you. Anyway, I'll see you in a bit.